Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Let's get into the next segment. You feel me? In? Ooh, we we about to get into the sad segment. And today, I gotta talk about this series right here. We gotta talk about beef on Netflix. Is that? Let me ask y'all something. Is that cultural appropriation? What? Or is it not? I don't know. Come, I mean, like you know who 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 like made the phrase beef in that regards, you know what I mean? Popping, right? Yeah. Now they show black Americans. We did that shit, okay? Like y'all to ask yourself. You know what I mean? Now they use a beef. It, it's a hit ass show. You feel me? I remember there was a, a goddamn uh was it like a doc documentary called Beef. And it had like 50 cents and stuff like that. Alright, I'm getting off tangent. My bad, y'all. Beef on Netflix. And um I will say this show is pretty good. I actually enjoyed this show. Um, let me give you the cast, well, some of the cast members. Uh, let me give you the stats, and I'm gonna give you the plot. So it's a dark comedy, and the stat that is really important that you really need to know is basically Ali Wong, and she played Amy, Amy Lou. Eh, let me admit, Ali Wong, she's actually pretty funny. Maybe I'll watch her stand-up, because she was pretty funny. But she was crazy, too. And I was like, is she acting, or is this really her? Because I couldn't tell. <laughs> I was like, bro, Ali Wong is probably insane. But the thing that always was throwing me off, I'm like, bro, she is so tiny. Like, she looks small on screen. But she was so insane. I was like, yo. I wouldn't want to cross paths with this woman. God damn, I see her walking walking towards me in the street. I'm crossing the street. <laughs> she all posing with the gun she had. She like, yeah, I'm about to show this for my IG live. Mm, mm, mm. She even, you know what? I'm getting into the plot. Let me, let me, hold on. Another actor, actually really good actor, Steven Yoon. He played Danny Chu. And Danny Chu and Amy were beefing, essentially. That's why it's called beef. And Steven Yu, he played in um, The Walking Dead. He's a really good actor, you know what I mean? Does his thing. And then another main character, the nasty man himself, the nasty award goes to David Chu. He played Isaac. He was Danny Chu's cousin. And my thing is this, bruh. I'm going to talk about, bro, in my other show, The Serious Glare, Shameless Plug. Uh, nasty man says some nasty things in his personal stuff, but the acting wise, really good. Did really good in this series. You know what I mean? But the rest of the actors, they're more like supporting cast. You feel me? You know what I mean? Kudos to y'all. Y'all did your thing, but I that's all I can say. The acting wasn't bad. Storyline was good. It was kind of funny at times, and yeah, it was very dark. Uh, let me give you the stats. IMDb gave it an 8.2. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 98%. Who'd y'all pay at Rotten Tomatoes? Huh? I ain't seen, actually I only seen one score 100% and I think another score like 95%. That's it. The people gave it a 95%. So, hey, frick y'all. This was, this was actually a really good show. Like, I ain't gonna knock it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna shit on it or nothing like that because this was a really good show. Storyline is good. It could be relatable to a certain extent. The acting was really good. You feel me? And I like how it showed that, yo, Asian people crazy too, yo. We try to get this stereotype of Asian people like, man, they're super smart and they're kind and courteous. And like, uh, they don't do any type of wrongdoings or crime unless they're in the Yakuza. No, damn it. Asian people is normal like us people. They crazy. They get angry. They do wild, zany stuff. They, uh, you know what I mean? They, they, they have anger problems, man. Yeah. They get stressed out. They real, they live normal lives, bro. I like that they showed this. Like, yo, man, we, we ain't all respectable and freaking being zenful and stuff. Nah, we, 
we get it in. We get we get mad off of little stupid things. And that's where I'm going to get into the plot. Beef was basically, and I mean, this joke is written in itself. Did Ali Wong write this joke right here where, you know the running joke that Asian people can't drive, right? Giggity. Well, that's what consists of this whole series of the beef. Amy Liu and Danny Chu both were in the wrong when they were driving. Gorge. And it was road rage at its finest. Like, <laughs> God, wait, bro, y'all knew what y'all was doing, bro, when y'all did this, bro. Y'all knew it. They're like, yeah, let's 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 do a play on like you know us HP. We don't know how to drive, so let's make a just a whole show of we didn't know how to drive at first, and then it leads into ultimate beef. Yeah, I mean, I could stop it right there with the. <laughs> I can literally stop right there and it's like, yo, that's that's a show, yeah. But I'm gonna give y'all more info though. So essentially though, they was in some parking lot. Uh Amy Lou and Danny Chu, they got like you don't see Amy Lou, you just see her car and stuff like that. And Danny Chu is mad. He mad that he went to the grocery store, tried to make a return. Brush trying to murk himself, and he's failing at it. He's basically a failure at life. He can't even murk himself properly. Jesus Christ. Failing at it. They go in there. Bruh come out, right? Then like some car. You know what I mean? Amy Lou got the fancy car and bruh riding the truck. And they get to the altercation. And then they just get into road rage. And Amy Lou. And this is the only part where I'm like the road rage got out of hand. Amy Lou tried to back up and try to smash bro with the car and stop. And then drove off. And then Danny Chu got the license plate. And then from there, that's where the beef commenced. Okay. Danny, Danny Chu goes up, goes to the crib. He think it's a man the whole time. Misogyny. It, come, <laughs> it turns out to be Amy, which is a woman. And he like, hold up, bruh. You the one tried to smash it in my car? Oh, we about to have beef. So they funking the whole show. The whole show they funk until the very end. And then, like, Isaac comes into play, which is Danny's cousin. And Isaac is within the underworld and doing all types of stuff. But Isaac is helping out Danny find the person at first. And then Isaac was kind of like, bro, what you doing, bro? Like, yo, I'll give you this money and all, dog. You feel me? I'll help you out. But, bro, you wildin' right now. And then, bro, Danny became friends with freaking Amy goddamn husband, which was played by Young. Mazino, he was Paul. Yeah. Play it, bruh, bruh. They become friends. Because at first, Danny was looking. He went in the house. He acted like he was um fixing some roof or something. I don't know. He acted like he was a handyman. Went in the crib. And then he was like, you know, looking at the picture, sizing up her husband. Like, yeah, man, I'm going to have to whoop his ass. Da -da -da. Then he went in the car and saw him was like, Yo, your husband drive this car? Misogyny. And she was like, nah, I'm the breadwinner. I ride this. He was like, wait a minute. I rode away with you? Oh, hell no. Nah. And then they just beefing the whole show. Petty beef, by the way. It's like a lot of petty things, you feel me? But you do get the sense that shit could go left because Amy, like, she's a gun toter and she's, you you get a feeling like she's trigger happy and liable to shoot, bruh, bruh. And at one point, she debated the masters with the gun. And I know some of y'all was like, no, she she didn't she didn't debate the masters. What you talking about? She masturbated. Gorge. And now it's gonna click. You gonna oh debate. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. She was getting off holding the gun. She was, ooh, my lover. Ooh, ooh. Damn! Had her skate, skate, skating off a gun. And that's wild. <laughs> maybe, I mean, maybe Amy needed therapy. That, that's what it was. They just needed therapy. Actually, it wasn't even that. You know what it was? They just needed a friend. They just want to be each other friends. You know how, like, back in the day, you, like, you, you, you fight somebody and then y'all actually becoming good friends. That's all this was. That was the plot of the damn show. Like, hey, man, you might fight. 
with your enemy and then you sit down and talk and y'all see that y'all got stuff in common, such as depression. And that's what the end of the show was. They literally sat down and got stranded somewhere and they had to sit down and talk and they hashed out their stuff and realized they had actually more in common than they thought. And they both were some depressed motherfuckers. One was super, super rich and one was super, super poor. But they both had that depression in common. Which, I guess beef too, the next season. Y'all should just show them in therapy together. Like, they're not even a couple, but they in therapy together. And that that strings up a whole type of other beef. I think that's what y'all should do. That'd be funny in itself. (laughs) But yeah, man. The very last episode, it consists of that where they kind of talked about mental illness depression they both dealing with it and how like they both is in in different tiers of their life but they both dealing with the same thing and they essentially become friends at the end of the day beautiful that was nice y'all did y'all did all this off of freaking road rage (laughs) and y'all come hold on let me find out who wrote this? Who wrote this? Original Network. Okay. Executive producers. Who wrote it? There's no writers. It's editors. I mean, I guess executive producers, Lee Sung Jin, Steven Yoon, Ali Wong. So they all executive produce it in a way. Y'all knew what y'all was doing with the whole driving thing. Y'all knew what y'all was doing. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. Anyway, look, like I said, this was a great series. I really enjoyed myself. When I first saw, I kept trying to not watch it because I was just like, beef. What? All right, whatever. Then I was like, let me watch it. And I watched it and I was like, oh, this is really pretty good. You feel me? Some of the petty beef that they had going on, I was like, man, bro, these 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 mother effers is petty, yo. Y'all are so petty. <laughs> It made for great TV, okay? Look, y'all know y'all know me by now. You feel me? I don't deter y'all, encourage y'all to watch any shows, movie, films, or listen to albums, nothing like that. I give my spiel. If you like, you like it. If you don't, whatever. Anyway, this was the show Beef on Netflix. I enjoyed it. It was really good. A lot, of pet, a lot of pettiness. And at the end of the day, sometimes you might be arguing with somebody and they're your enemy. Sometimes y'all might just have to sit somewhere where you're stranded and then y'all find out like, wow, we're actually friends. We just wanted to be friends. Oh, you know what they say? <laughs> somebody that love you and admire you is a thin line between them hating your ass too. You feel me? Think about it. 